You are watching Cold Fusion. Hey guys, so I know it's been more than a week now. I thought I just might update you guys and let you know what's going on. So I've actually been away for a few days because it was my birthday and things kind of got mixed up. So I know I said I would bring the full review, but instead I thought instead of leaving you guys waiting for that because that's going to take a little bit more time, I'm actually just going to give you the files for the new Voxus UI and also uh, just a brief uh, basic tutorial on how to get things uh, up and running. This is not a full tutorial, I repeat, not a full tutorial. This is just for the more advanced users who know how to use uh, widgets and that kind of thing. For this setup, you're going to need multi-picture live wallpaper, ultimate custom widget, astro file manager, the tiny white icon pack, Zupa widget, and the future nostalgia wallpaper pack. So once again, this video is just for the advanced users who know what they're doing. So first things first, there's going to be a link in the description for all of your widgets. So if you're on a PC, just download it and somehow transfer it to your phone, whether via USB or email, whatever you want to do. And if you're on your phone, just download it straight. And then depending on what browser you're using, it should be in the downloads folder. And you'll notice that it's in a zip format. So what this means is that you're going to have to use something like Astro File Manager to unzip that file in order for the contents to be read by Ultimate Custom Widget. So once that's done, you can see all of our widgets in here and they are all in use it format. Use it format is basically the format that Ultimate Custom Widget uses to create its widgets. So taking a look around, you'll be able to see that most of the widgets are actually from uh, Ultimate Custom Widget. But with this being said, you'll be able to see a few little uh, white icons and that's actually from the tiny white icon pack. The tiny white icon pack is basically just a revamp look to your regular desktop icons. And we'll get on to how to do that in just a little bit. And the 3D transition effect that you're seeing was a combination of Nova Launcher and multi-picture live wallpaper. But that will be handled in the full tutorial. Alright, so to get the widgets, all you have to do is long press on the home screen, scroll down to widgets, and then go to ultimate custom widget as you normally do with any other widget. And then um, choose any size you want, it doesn't really matter, we can resize that later. And then we're going to go to the top right hand side and choose use it. So this is to browse for our files manually. Sorry for the phone turning on its side, it just does that. Um, should probably figure that out before I started recording. But um, so we're just gonna go to the downloads folder, which was where we uh, installed it from the uh, link in the description. And you'll see the Voxus 2 UI folder there. And inside of that, you'll have all of the widgets that you'll need to complete the setup. So to get any one of them activated, all you need to do is just click on it. So for instance, if you want this messaging, use it. We just click on it and click um, the touch here button. And from that, we can just simply start using it how we want it. So we just resize it. And that's basically how you do every single widget inside of this UI. So it's just basically repeating those steps and positioning the widgets to how you want them to be. Okay, so to change those icons, what we need to do is simply just long press on the home screen and then click on apps. And then once you do that, we select the app that we want to change. And so I've selected this keyboard app. So we just click edit and then we click on the little icon there. We can actually search for rather built-in icons or if you swipe to the right, it will give you um, tiny white icons to select from. So we just go edit shortcut and click OK. And then there, we've changed that uh, little icon to um, a tiny white icon. So that's basically it. And you just repeat those steps for any of the icons that you need in your UI. So with that, that just rounds out the uh, end of this very short tutorial. So don't forget the full tutorial will be coming later. And also in the future, I'm just going to be releasing some very short videos just to just to kind of make sure that you guys aren't waiting for the full review. So it's just having something happening in the meantime. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon for another video. Cheers, guys. Cold Fusion. It's me thinking.